we missed out on the Connor McDavid slumber party, so we'll have to try to make up for that. Did you see him go off again last night? Yep. A goal and three assists. He's so good. I, I hate Edmonton. Like I really, I'm starting to to despise Edmonton as a city and as a fan base. Yeah, me too. And it's just simply steeped in jealousy. That's all it is. Well, they've had. They're so lucky. They, that they uh, have they've had coming. arguably the best playoffs because didn't Darnell Nurse get three assists too? I mean, this is a he's a good player. This is a team that now is is stocked with some young players, and he, he's the one guy they talk about McDavid and he's going to do his thing. But if Darnell Nurse can turn into some kind of beast back there and be that 20, 26, 27 uh, a night guy that, that's gritty and plays against the opposition's best line and kills penalties, one-up D-man, every different situation, he's the first guy over the boards, he can be a game-changer for that organization. Oh, yeah. Big time. I'm, I'm not sure he is that guy, though, like from an offensive standpoint. Like, I'm not I don't talking about the offense. I'm talking just about like a, the just rounded, the guy yeah. that, you know, like a chart. first pass, yeah. Like exactly. a Chara. A minute a poor man, beast. Stronger yeah. Chara type. Yeah, like just, just yeah. the guy who plays just in every situation. You need him over the boards. Well, and our guys and others have been reporting that, you know, Todd McClellan seems like he's kind of pushing towards Edmonton too. So Think about what's happened since they won that. Like you got Peter Shirelli, you've got Connor McDavid, Todd McClellan more than likely coming in. Yeah. Like all that. And you moved out some pieces, right? Well, you because know what you just mentioned, you took power away from people that were in power positions too. Yeah. That's the Bob most Nicholson important element of it, Brian. It was almost like Bob Nicholson pulled a shanty. He's been there for a year, and then all of a sudden he stepped in and said, "All right, yeah, I've seen enough here. This is what we're going to do. We're going to start moving some people around within the organization or not. But this is the guy who's going to be driving the bus. This is the guy who's going to coach. This is, you know." I still concern myself with that owner. As long as he is still the owner, I have a difficult time having 100% faith in everything that they're doing out there. But this may be idiot proof. Like it may be. I hope so. You get McDavid, you got McClellan, you've got other quality people there. That may be and it might be the owner perf- proof. Yeah, and it might be the perfect storm. Yakupov might be a thirty five goal guy next year. Well, if he shows up well, and he gets for- it. People forget he's twenty. Yeah, I know. We're, we're giving Jonathan Druin a pass because he's twenty and just learning. This Yakupov's in the same boat. Like they're they're young players. Isn't that amazing that he went first overall and he's like seventh? On the list of players that you associate with that team, yeah. Like when you think of that team or that organization, he's so far down the list of players that pop into your mind, and he went first overall. Yeah, but he's that's a first overall pick. That's what I brought up yesterday, though. You, team bottoms out, and you know you you talked about Tampa, how they win a cup and then they go through a cycle and they get Stamkos, and then they go back up. Other team goes through a cycle and they get. Now Yakupov. And I mean, Yakupov's a good how the player. Team plays, though. If you put him with David Backus and Alex Steen, yeah, he'll be and fine. Ken Hitchcock says, you're going to play this way or you're not doing anything, you'll you're right. see a different product. So if Todd McClellan gets in there and he lays down the law and says, listen, buddy, I don't care where you're drafted, I don't care about your contract. If you don't play this way, you don't get to go on that sheet of ice. And that's what good coaches do. They set the standard. And when Todd McClellan walks in that dressing room, it's a whole different vibe. It's just like the team that gets Mike Babcock. You got a country club going on down there in Toronto. Mike Babcock walks in, party's over, boys. Not happening yeah. anymore. That's why he's so sought after. Be interesting to see now with the Babcock sweepstakes if the rumors are true about McClellan going to Edmonton. Not that Babs was the front runner there because you don't know what his preference is, but mm-hmm. certainly would heat up this market a little bit to think. You know, it's one market with a with a large wallet out of it, right? Because Cates Cates is a, a guy right. who's deep pockets and a team that's still building and growing. And, and, and they they and managed to land. They got one. the Golden Goose exactly, and they were a bigger disaster this year than than the Maple Leafs. Well, maybe not consistently, but right. Still, you know, there's pressure on Shanahan to to bring in a good coach or good GM, and yeah, he's running out of time. You know, the draft is right around the corner. We'll see.